Hi, the Daily Elvis, Green Green Grass of Home. Elvis heard the Tom Jones version uh, when he was returning to Memphis in his bus, and he kept phoning his friend George Klein, who was the DJ, to keep playing the song, which was in contravention of the radio rules, broadcast rules at the time. But can you imagine, in those days, being in your home, and you're just, you know, listening to the George Klein show, and George says, oh, Elvis just phoned me and he wants to hear the song again. I mean, and then George starts talking about Elvis's, you know, how close they are to Memphis. I mean, what an extra, you know, a lifetime radio bonus thing that you would get that is really comparable, I guess, to following your favorite celebrities on uh, Twitter and Facebook and blogosphere, blah, blah, blah stuff. And um, it's, it's really interesting to sort of look at, you know, the Daily Elvis and see what was the technology at the time and what a different world it is uh, for celebrities and, you know, celebrity consumers. Oh, I guess uh, fans. But we do have a way of kind of consuming the celebrity, too. I mean... This is really what the death of Princess Diana was about, you know, paparazzi to death.